Pistorius trial have been completed. Now the former Olympian awaits a ruling on his future, which is expected to come Tuesday. CNN's Robin Kerno has more. Oscar Pistorius left court Friday. Possibly the last time he walks out of here is a free man. The minimum term that society will be happy with will be a 10 years imprisonment sentence. This is a serious matter. The negligence borders on intent. Both sides presenting two very different options to the judge on how she should punish the Blade Runner. The defence arguing he should get community service and house arrest. It's not an accused that wants to walk away from the pain cause. It's someone that desperately wants to, to make, not make right. You cannot make right. But to do something positive, to at least assist in the healing process. Serious regard should be given to a community-based sentence, to restorative justice, and to strive to assist, not in a healing process, but at least to put some patches on the pain. And we ask the court to consider that. Restorative justice or retribution. Both sides suggested sentences were poles apart from each other. This means that either side may end up finding her eventual sentence shockingly inappropriate, which could end up increasing the chances of an appeal. Reva Steenkamp's family and their pain acknowledged by both sides. It's you that caused the death of a loved one. It is you. That will never go away. Whatever punishment, lifelong, 15 years, 10 years, correctional supervision, that can never be equated to that pain as it can never be equated to the pain experienced by the parents. The parents of the deceased verbalise the fact that they stand neutral as far as sentence is concerned. But then we ask a question. How much grief, how much heartache, how much pain, how much trauma must one endure as a parent? Also, just how much should Oscar Pistorius' disability impact the judge's decision? We don't realise that when we see disability. We don't realise the real impact and effect of disability. This constant medical attention that is not just walking around on his prosthetics and it's fine. There's pain, there's treatment. There's adjustments that he must go through. Disturbing that a man that wanted to compete with able-bodied athletes never acted as a disabled person would now shamelessly use this as an excuse and mitigating factor. The judge now needs to find a compromise between these two starkly different arguments. The defence calling for justice with humanity, compassion and understanding that's in the public interest, whereas the state is calling for a harsh, long-term incarceration that satisfies public opinion. Robin Kerno, CNN, Pretoria.